Okay, um... Move over all of these. Okay, so... Wow. My oat seeds are garbage. Why is it so bad? Or does it not matter? I don't know. Okay. Oh, barley. Hmm. How's this? Not great. I guess I'll take some of that. Throw in the oat bread. Go from there. Okay. Uh, ha. Huh. Because, yeah, I can't brew yet. We can't do animal husbandry, husbandry serving or anything like that. What's this? Building. Building a house. I've already built a house. So I guess we're just waiting. Uh, I don't think I can make any max quality bread. I can. All right, let's grab, let's grab five. Let's grab some of his best yeast. Okay, I'm going to move that over. going to move that over. And there we go. We should get some good bread out of this. Hopefully that'll finish off the quest for us. Okay, so what next? I got a mushroom. Huh. I guess I'll eat the mushroom. There's no reason why not to eat the mushroom. We've got medicine. We got pigeon eggs. Yeah, there's not much. We'll have plenty of, uh, plenty of bread by the time we're done, though. Is that some tier four? Ah, it's tier four bread. Oh. Quality of five or higher. I don't think you know what that means, but... All right. Well, I guess we're done with production. I feel like you should get more for completing one of those. Two fish in ten seconds. Yeah, that's not going to work great here. Can't do washing beddings. So I can't really do the rest of these until later. I guess there's always the seed harvesting thing. You know what? I should start doing that with the sugar beets. Uh, wait a day until after they're done. That we get more sugar beet seeds. Maybe. I don't know. How's the... Does this stuff decay? Oh. Can and will. Good to know. Guess I'm not going to rush the wart in the future. Okay, also. Uh, rain does seem to accumulate between these those two. Okay, so we're hungry. Did I actually grab any of that bread? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's let's get back down here. So we got a little bit more. Just gonna grab all the bread. We're gonna throw it in the cupboard. The longer this stuff lasts, the better. Okay, that's good. And seeing as I've got a little bit of stamina, or whatever, let's let's go back to just taking out these rocks. I'm going to need a lot more ingots as we go along. Eventually, I'd like to open up two inns. Or three. More or less, one inn for every clan available in the game. Uh, and that way, we don't have to worry about, like, clan fights and stuff like that. Okay, let's take this opportunity to go back. Uh, let's actually do indoor floors. we got a number of these. I haven't really needed that much limestone. We can always get more. I'm just going to work on that pathway. Uh, next up was... Right. Ingots. Did we did we actually have any in the ingot yard? No. Do I have any in my inventory? I got three. Does that mean I can make any of these pipes? No. We need one more. Okay. I guess we're just going to have to wait for the, uh, the bread to finish. Okay. Bread's done. I should go back to making bread. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Wrong direction. Actually, like... I'm a fairly good baker. It's been a long time since I've made my own, though. Let's see. Do machines not have pipes built into them? Oh, they do. Um, The only caveat here is we need... Uh, we need two... I want to say it's output pipes. I guess I could probably make them. Yeah, okay, output. Put their... Allows production machines to put their products into storages. Would it be input then? The problem is, I don't know... What does this count as? Yeah, 
It says an output pipe. Yeah, the problem is I don't know if the beer barrel counts because what I want to do is put an output pipe from a beer barrel. I want to put an output pipe from a beer barrel. I want to connect this here. Let's uh, let's turn pipes on. I want to connect this beer barrel here. That way we can do one, two, three. And now I could potentially make underground output pipes. Can I just do that? Okay, that'll work. So hopefully we'll go from there. Why not combined? Uh, eh. Yeah, so I might have to manually connect this, but hopefully that'll make it so it, uh, uh, hopefully that'll make it so it, it, um, uh, works. Can you set the side of the beer barrel to automatically do that if you move it down? I, I don't know. Uh, if, I guess we'll find out. This might not work. I might have to tear things up at some point and bother with it past that point. Um, but ideally it would work like this. Oh, that's, that's nothing useful. Uh, ideally, it'd work like this. Uh, we'd have the, um, we'd have the output, uh, we'd have the beer from the kettle go into the barrel. And when it's, when the, uh, when the other thing is empty, uh, it would draw from the barrel. I don't know if it works that way. Unfortunately, as much as I like the pipe system in this game, I honestly really wish it just... You had one pipe, two pipes, underground and above ground, and that was it. Because the whole, like, differential, especially with the lack of truly substantive tool tipping, makes it a little bit harder to tell if you've done the right thing or not. Anyway, I believe it's harvest time, at least for part of the crop. Okay, they're also dry. Let's grab all that. I should probably put a rain barrel next to this just so I don't have to manually fill. But this is just so much easier. Okay, fill these all in. Are we really out of water? Wow. I get. Oh yeah, it costs more or less depending on uh on uh like how much water is necessary. Okay. And it looks like you can over over waste stuff if you want to. That's good to know. Now I'll pick up the sugar beets. We'll always be able to get more seeds, probably. Otherwise, we can waste it on other things. Okay. Check crop density. Okay, so if we do that... That, that, that. There we go. Okay, perfect crop density. It actually looks like you don't... You could actually have two spots in between, now that I'm looking at it. So you might actually want to have, like, one more rover here. I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out past this point uh, for future plantings. Because, yeah, we are slowly running out of sugar beet seeds. And that makes it harder. Okay, anyway. Uh, I've got a butt ton of hops. And they're probably going to start rotting. Anyway. Um, let's put in, like, that amount. I wonder if I can put in, like, a silo. I have no idea. Whatever. Okay, so I got I got hops finally. Let's do this. Eventually, I, what I should probably do is actually put the silo here, uh, up here, and do stuff with that. Okay, so this is working. What are we What do we need to keep going? We're gonna need some pipes. Maybe. I mean, honestly, if I just manually refill this rain barrel, we can do whatever we want. Okay, warp boiler. 
Malt box. Malt box needs this. Okay. Uh, inventory is not entirely full. I'm going to need some lumber here. I guess we'll start going for this guy. There we go. That's probably more than enough lumber for what we're doing. Okay. Lumber. Perfect. And you're not drawing... Well, oh. I was a dumb. Okay. So now that works. I'll just have to remember to manually refill the water thing every once in a while. Okay, so... I'll just move the rest of the wood there. Okay, so... We have fresh water. We will have malt. We have beer going. We're just making the right variety. Uh, I'm gonna need an inn sign. We don't have any beer yet. Guidepost. No. Tavern sign. Gonna need stone. Okay. Probably more than enough. Always feels like I'm not getting nearly as much as I should. Okay, small bag. We want that. The extra inventory capacity is great. Sugar beet seeds. Oat seeds. Always need more of everything. Okay, there we go. I'm being a little bit wasteful here. Though we're actually staying kind of on top of things. Um... Let's see, we're doing okay on yeast and fertilizer. Hopefully, hopefully the compost bin is actually finally making me some fertilizer. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so at some point I'll probably build a second silo up here so I can move hops around and just leave it fully automatic. Uh, if we're lucky. Okay, we wanted a tavern sign. I'll just put it there. That way I can... Okay. No clan will visit my inn, independent of permissions. Cool. Okay, so as soon as this is done, we actually have some beer. Then we'll do it. Uh, but right now, it'd be kind of a waste. I've got a lot of sugar beet seeds, which is good. Got a fair amount of oat, oat seeds. I've got other stuff like straw and whatnot, but I don't know. Okay. So, barring everything, we're hungry... My hops are doing okay. It's how early in the spring? I actually have no idea what the date is. <laughs> that's a small annoyance. But that's okay. Uh, let's eat for a bit. What do we want to do? Because there's not much that this guy can net us. I guess probably start cutting down trees. Yeah, let's start cutting down the, the trees directly in front of... In front of the inn. Eventually, I'm going to want to expand this down, probably. This is going to take a while. There's apparently a pretty useful link on the Orcish Inn wiki. I'm going to have to look at this. Alright, well, we're ridiculously over-encumbered. Uh, the other option is, I could actually, yeah, we should probably do this. We're going to go make a couple of wood yards, specifically for completed products. Um, I really wish I could actually upgrade stuff, like wood yards and whatnot. Be a nice, nice little feature. I guess I'm just going to surround the place. Okay, uh... Let's get over here. This has got, like, some rope. I'm not using too much of it, but still. Okay, um... So I've got a silly amount of apple lumber. Last time I checked. So we want to go up to 85. There we go. Any Anything past that is problem. Okay, drop that off. So we've got, like, apple bark. Which can be used... For stuff, but it's it's really not that useful. Ooh, apples. Sell for a decent amount. I'm, I'm just gonna sell them. I could do things with it, but it just seems like a bad... It seems like a waste. we got, like, lady beetles and other things. Oh! 
I didn't realize this, but I could actually... Okay. Yeah, so Lady Beetle. A cute little Lady Beetle crawling its way for uh, toward freedom. If put in a compost box, it reduces the quality of other items on decay. Uh, let's actually get a second compost box here. I'm, I'm kind of loaded up on this stuff. And it's becoming an inconvenience. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to need... I'm going to need hay. If I remember it, that's just straight up grass. And I've got it. It's not going to make me a very good compost box, but that's okay. I don't need it. But this way we can dump off a lot of these, uh, these leaves. Admittedly, we don't have the seeds to really justify. Okay. Huh. Hop beetle can be used to flavor your beer. Weird. Okay. Yeah, we've also got like brushwood beetles and some other things. Which is interesting. Alright, whatever. We'll work on that. Uh, production. Okay, now I've got the link to the wiki. I'll have to look at this. This developer is insane. I, I love this game, though. Like, they did a really good job with it. Okay. So it looks like it's gone to the Treant Fountain for the time, uh, faucet for the time being. I guess in that case, it's open. Yeah, we don't have too much, uh, but this way, things will keep going. Uh, malt box. Got a wheat warp boiler chest. So we got some extra wart here. Uh, did that really only make one? Really? Comes off as insane to me. Well, let's go make some five-star beer for the time being. Oh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so finally we'll start getting some money. Hopefully I don't have uh, too many seats in there. Because I kind of want to make sure that I don't have... I don't outstrip... Uh, oh, right. We should probably turn off plant density. Hasn't really been an issue here. But, um, yeah, I don't want to... I, I don't want to outstrip the amount that I've, I've got. Because we can only produce so much beer in a day. And I'd actually rather just make a small amount of money consistently as opposed to run into supply issues. Because technically this game can have, like, zero cap. Okay, let's take a look at our clans for a second. Clan info. Yeah, they don't like me, but whatever. Oh, it's the Rootbound clan this time. Unfulfilled beer satisfaction. How do I change the recipe? Okay. Did it already burn through that just to make one wart? Because it's supposed to be... Or to make one yeast. Okay, let's let's try maybe drip feeding it. I, I think we've run into a bug here. Let's grab the lower quality stuff. Now that we know we might have a problem. Um... In the chest. I'm going to throw it over here. Okay, so apparently if you try and fill the malt box with with uh, with oats, they will automatically uh, use every oat there. For better or worse. Which is kind of super dumb. I mean, I'll live. But that more or less means that... Uh, I just wasted like 10, 15 wheat, oats, uh, making a very small amount of yeast. 
I mean, it'll be fine, but it's... It's annoying. Okay, whatever. Anyway, we've got a small amount of people coming in and out. Uh, but that'll be okay. Anything specifically that can be done to fix up any of these? Doesn't look like it. Well, whatever. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, what I've got is fine. I'm not in a hugely inconvenient location. It's just... Just slow burn. Okay, I guess we might as well go back to chopping at this for the time being. Gonna take a while. We'll get the stump. Okay, yeah, so somebody was asking, what do I think about this game? I like it a lot. It's weird. It's, um... Honestly, like, this kind of has that same level of, like, crazy factorio levels of, like, complication. Which I actually really dig. Uh, you know, there's very distinct supply chains, they all work together, and you have to worry about resources. Unlike Factorio, though, this one's a little bit more hands-on, uh, which I gotta give it props for. Okay, let's... Let's fill you with the rest of this. Uh, let's grab the rest of these. I'm just gonna move them out of the way. We'll just move them to the other ones. But yeah, I don't know. I, As far as like weird sandbox builder games, I actually really like this game. It reminds me a lot of uh, Stardew Valley in a very good way. But unlike Stardew Valley, it kind of lets you get a little bit more into the nitty gritty, which is really nice. Uh, the only problem is it also, it has some weird balance issues and design uh, choices that I would call questionable. It's very good, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely one of those where it's like, if you're not quite used to the idea of this, it's frustrating. Okay, anyway, uh, whoa, I got 750 of this stuff. That's a concern. I should go make some furniture. Maybe see if I can increase my tavern comfort. I don't want to do, like, tables or chairs, because that'd be a bad move. But other stuff I could probably manage. Okay. We also need to go to bed. Okay, there we go. Let's see. I need to I need to get the, the perks. Fifty days till winter. Eesh. Alright, uh, let's go back, eat some more bread, that's good enough. Okay, let's, let's see, daily crops, they need, they need their watering. Yeah, like, this game needs, uh, sprinklers, or like some kind of irrigation system. Uh, it needs easier supply chains, maybe, uh, at least kind of less punishing ones, because it does get to be a bit of a problem after a certain point. Oh, you know what? I never planted a hop over here. Either that or it got destroyed. Well, there's not much I'm going to do about that. Oh, shit. We actually lost a lot of hops there. I didn't even realize it first, but... Um, yeah, it, it's been complaining about plant density. And I was just like, me, me, me. No, it actually, like, matters. Okay, here's a question. Uh, let's try this. Uh, okay. We don't want to do sugar beets. I want to try this. Does that work? It, that works. That is hilarious. I can just plant grass at the end of these. And that actually increases their qual. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I never realized, that, realized this, but uh, apparently grass is a viable crop. Which means we can plant as much, as many oat seeds as we want. Because all I have to do is go harvest some grass. Alright. That's something to keep in mind. Let's go make a secondary field over here. 
Okay, we need the resources for it, though. We need a lot more fertilizer. These bugs really do not do the, uh, do their work nearly as fast as I'd like it to. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's get down here. I'll just buy some more fertilizer from this guy. It's cheap, and we should be getting constant influx of cash. Is that all? That's all. Okay. Okay. Honestly, let's just grow as many sugar beets as we can. Because now that we know grass works instead of sugar beets... Ow. Sorry. Bump the mic. Now that we know that grass works instead of sugar beets, we should actually be maximizing the amount of sugar beets uh, that we're growing instead of uh, being shifty about it. Because, yeah, if I can if I can just plas plant grass and moram grass as a viable crop, then hell yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, are you working? Did you, did you get weird and screwy again? No, you didn't get weird and screwy. Okay, so it's working better. Now we have, now we have malt that actually works along the way. Good stuff. But yeah, I've, I've never run into a game quite as... I, I'm not going to say anal as this game. Because uh, obviously we have stuff like Factorio. But it does a very good job of kind of matching that same level of like strange insanity. And I actually really enjoy how that works. Because... Oops, wrong direction. Because yeah, it's, it's fun to build an inn. And, you know, get all the process. The resource chains and all the other stuff. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so interior. The problem is we really don't have much to work on tavern comfort. We got like vase with ivy. Oh, I'm out of uh, decorative planks. Really? Huh. Vase with skulls. Vase. Oh, it's leaves. Well, I can go get some leaves pretty easily. Okay. Okay, that's probably enough. We got some extra bugs. Oh, and we got corn seeds. Interesting enough. Okay. How many nails do we have? I know whatever the answer is, it's not enough. Okay. Can I automate all the things? Not really. That's, that's the one complaint I would have there's not as much automation as I'd like like I'd really like to be able to off it, automate maybe not crop harvesting but it, I'd at least be able like to be able to automate I'd like to be able to automate uh, you know watering my crops and uh, I guess eventually uh, once I've done enough mining and stuff I'll be able to automate crops from my silo all the way up to my beer production facility. But, like, I, w I want this game to involve more automation. Because after a certain point, there's kind of a, a threshold of... I, I call it the fuck it threshold. Uh, where you just really don't want to... I You really don't want to do all this... Go through all this extra work just to get X done. It's just not worth it. Okay, let's go here. Uh, this is a weird remix. Okay, vase with ivy. Foliage plant. I'm just gonna do that, and that will make the end bigger. Okay, walls and fences. Oh, right, we can get, like, windows in here. Probably a good idea. Yeah, because tavern comfort is probably pretty important here. The more comfortable this tavern is, the uh, the better it's going to be. Well, we've got... We don't have much. Yeah, I'm going to need... I'm going to need a lot more of these. Because, yeah, I'm... What I need to do is effectively go through... 
and uh, increase the size of that inn. Increase the whole tavern comfort system. Because uh, otherwise, we're not going to be having a whole lot of people coming in. And that'd be an issue. Alright, whatever. Okay. I mean, we have some people coming in. We've definitely gotten money here. Oh, right. Uh, we wanted to work on bedding. Um, do I have the recipe for this? Unfortunately, okay, clothes dryer. Y yes. Okay, so I got the clothes dryer. Washing trough, loom. Washing trough. Okay. So I've got both of these. Uh, okay, so brewing beer. We've brewed beer. Done. Serving. Room for a tavern. Gotcha. Tavern sign. I'll just dig mine up and do other things. Okay, trading. Seed trading warrants. Can't do that. Can't do that. Washing beddings. So we need to... We just need to make the washing trough and the clothes dryer. Uh, here? Ah, uh, they're good dorm points. I guess I'll go put them in. Or at least they count for dorm points. If they were negative, I would have put them outside. But if they work in this area, then they work in this area. Um... Okay, do I... Did I pick up any wet bedding? I did. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take one. Okay. This way we'll have some, uh, some bedding drying here, so we don't have to worry about this. That's good. What time are we looking at? Eh, that's probably a good, good stopping point, actually. Yeah, so we, we've got stuff drying, we've got crops coming in in a day. We've got people supposedly going into the inn. Unfortunately, I'm not being particularly... Um, I, I can't really get a good view. Oh. Huh. Didn't realize the rain barrel got damaged. Well, that's okay. Looks like we've got plenty of beer. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so as long as we don't put any oats into the malt box... We kind of don't have to worry about things for at least a little while. That's a good sign. Okay. think things are going better for me. We'll see. But yeah, I still got to go back and keep stockpiling stuff for a while. Wow, this thing is on overdrive. Still not done. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, I should probably stop it. We're going to need... We're going to need uh, actual... I guess I could always just get the extra... Not planks, the boards or whatever. I don't know. The, the regular wood, the non-decorative. -decor I kind of wish you could use them interchangeably. One was just more efficient than others. Wait, hold on. Back to game. What's this? Oh, unlocked pieces of furniture. Tavern. Challenges. Social rank. New seeds. Sunny. Other things. Nothing particularly useful. Awesome.